Alrighty, so as you guys know, in a few days, the New Year stuff is going to start happening. At least the banners are going to come out on the 1st of January, just so it actually matches New Year's. Um, but the event is actually going to start in two days. Right now, I want to talk about if you should be summoning a, a, for Modernia and the Step Up. I'm going to talk about those two first because I want to give Scarlet her own video on if you should summon or not. Obviously, we do not have her skills yet, so I do want to... um talk about her later now you probably might be wondering Juxus, wouldn't it be better to wait to get scarlet skills before doing this video just so that you know if people should summon for scarlet modernia or um the step up and the answer is yes but i'm just gonna go off a general base here not based on what one individual person who is watching this must think um the reality of the situation is that modernia is one of the best characters in the game so i don't know if scarlet being either the best character in the game or even the worst character in the game is going to change the fact that if you do not have modernia you're probably still going to want to pick her up right um i do think modernia is a must summon and the fact that she's rerunning this year this is probably honestly going to be your only last chance ever to guarantee get a not i don't want to say ever because i feel like in a year from now i feel like next new year's or even next anniversary we're going to get a selected that includes like the original pilgrims like the ones that started with the game because they'll be two years old by then but modernia this is probably going to be the last time you can guarantee get her for a minute right she's not going to rerun next year because next year with the new year's it's probably going to rerun scarlet right so um i do assume scarlet's going to be very very good and probably best character or second best character in the game only because she her banner is dropping with modernia's banner and also with the step up banner that guarantees you characters like litter and also um like blanc noir all of that good characters but yes the answer is yes you should definitely summon for um modernia i think modernia like i said is one of the best characters in the game there's no question about that she literally is um a must have she can carry you from the end or the earliest of the game to the very end of the game she's used in every single content um even pvp she's not that crazy in pvp where is she i've been looking for her um where is she oh here she's used in everything including pvp she's just not that crazy in pvp but you don't have to worry much about pvp a lot of guys don't even do it but i do think she's a character that you must have if you do you must pick up if you do not own this character you have to pick this character up she's very very good her damage is outstanding her um destroyer mode on her bird skill is very very it's so efficient for just clearing right projectiles mobs bosses like parts all this stuff it's just such a good skill right her stacking crit damage right her giving herself an attack buff when you like she's such a good character hit rate to all allies when you enter a full burst right she's doing so much the extra five seconds for the full burst like this character is actually insane and she's about to be one years old on new year's day of course but it's like she dropped a year ago and she's still again one of the best characters in the game she would have been the best character in the game if red hood hasn't had not dropped right so keep that in mind right i do think this is the absolute one million percent one billion quadrillion million percent must summon now if you're asking me Zeoxis, again should i summon for modernia or scarlet like i said before we don't have scarlet skills yet i just assume based on what the brief description said and just based on the common sense of what's going on here she's gonna be broken just because she's dropping with modernia one of the best characters in the game a step up that gives you access to some of the best characters in the game not to mention they did say she's gonna do unparalleled uh damage basically right so um that's like basically equivalent to hacks Kek w right now in terms of should you be summoning on the step up banner now that it doesn't show the step up banner or anything like that but i would say it's actually worth it let me pull up the patch notes right because i need to do the calculations first um three thousand five thousand so it's six thousand and six hundred gems six thousand six hundred gems for three multis and one single and a guaranteed character of your choice that's pretty good that's actually the easiest deal of the century now um i do want to clear this up in this video because a lot of people were asking yesterday um it says excluding pilgrims limited recruit nikkeis and certain nikkeis right um and they were asking what are the certain characters i'm assuming right since it's a new year's step up it's actually going to include the 2023 units like blanc noir 
Nagatia, etc. I'm assuming that certain units are just like Guilty Sin, Ray, um, Quincy, like those free to play characters that are not on banners but are not limited, right? I think that was just what they mean by certain units, right? Um, because certain units couldn't be pilgrims or limited characters because they just stated limited and pilgrims here, but certain nicknames can definitely mean those characters that never got in a banner, like not, um, what's her name? I guess you could say Neve, um, you could say, not necessarily Neve, but like Guilty, Quincy, those are not limited characters since you can get them any time of the week, literally. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming they just mean those guys. But yeah, this is definitely worth it. 6,600 gems, that's two multis and two singles, right? Two multis and two singles for three multis and one single and a guaranteed SSR of your choice. It's still 4% as well for an SSR. So it's not like you're summoning here just to get there. You're summoning and you can get four stars along the way. So you could summon on this with discounted multis as well and possibly get the character you're looking for that you thought you were gonna choose and then choose another character. It's a win-win no matter how you look at it, right? This is like probably the easy, unless you have every single character in the game, I don't understand why you would wanna summon for this besides dupes, but if you don't have every single character in the game and you know you're missing that one good character you can really use like litter or the bunny girls or anybody i made a video about it yesterday if you guys want to go check it out it's on my channel i made a video about it yesterday um the best picks right go ahead and take that let me just pull it up so you guys can see that's the graphic right there right these are the characters i recommend to pick if you do not have them but yeah, this is a must summon. I think this is a must summon for so many players just because of the value from this, right? Being able to choose litter, being able to choose one of the bunny girls, being able to choose one of the school girls, being able to choose one of these godlike characters that you do not have um, that is not a pilgrim or a limited is really like not going to happen again until next New Year's, right? Keep that in mind. We're not gonna get this until next New Year's because we didn't get this for anniversary. I was thinking we get like a selector box during the anniversary. We didn't get that. So you would literally have to wait a whole nother year for these characters. And in the year of 2024, I'm expecting us to get a replacement for litter. I'm expecting us to get a replacement for the bunny girls, possibly, right? Maybe they will test, since there's two of them, they'll probably, like we'll see right because in 2024 we're probably going to get rogue or rouge or whatever her name is right she's going to be a part of the bunny girl squad that's actually a buff to bunny girls because now you can run blanc noir or whatever the other character is in the squad right um and if they have different variants of blanc and noir as well then you can run them and then that will also count towards their passives right so keep that all in mind um but yeah this is a must summon so if you're a new player this is one million percent a must summon if you're an old player who is missing godlike character that you can pick up on this that is a must summon banner and when it comes to modernia's banner if you do not own modernia must summon she's again the second best character in the game even if scarlet ends up being better than her that would just make her the third best unit in the game and if you do not have the third best unit in the game you might be like oh i don't need her but you probably do right you probably do if you're doing solar raids and union raids you need to have modernia she's literally different right red hood has to be a verse one two and three and do everything she could to surpass modernia let's be realistic bro modernia is just a different breed just a different animal a different beast so i would highly 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 recommend to summon for modernia if you do not have her right um the best course of action would to if you have 20 multis or if you have golden tickets i always say if when there's two banners out like this summon 20 multis on one banner and then build up pity because by summoning only on modernia's banner you're gonna get modernia probably there's a higher chance of you getting modernia in 20 multis i would like to say than you not getting her right maybe that might be a reach and let me know in the comments down below if that is but I feel like in 20 multis, you're going to get Modernia. I know there was a, who was it? I think it was Tamias. He like has the issues with like Modernia. I don't know what the lore is exactly. I just think he got shafted or something. It was pretty bad. But um, with Modernia, you, I feel like you have a higher chance of getting her within 20 multis. You just summon, summon, summon until you get her. No matter what, you're building up pity. And then boom, you just go to the Scarlet Banner and summon and summon and summon until you reach pity, golden ticket, right? It's really as simple as that, but you guys let me know what you think let me know if you're going to be summoning for modernia or if you're going to be summoning up on the step up and why why you think you shouldn't summon on it why you think you should summon on it all that stuff i'm always reading the comments um i don't heart all the comments now right because i like, don't have enough time to um i just like read it when i get the message on my phone 
but yeah you guys let me know what you think it's your boys the and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out later peace